This time I have 5t minus 5 equals 5t plus 7. Now take notice here, both variables are the same. I have 5t and 5t. The equations are not the same. So I'm going to push the variable on one side or the other. It really doesn't matter which direction I go. So if I subtract 5t from both sides, the variable ends up being eliminated on both sides. Well, I end up with 0 and 0. If this ever happens, your statement, it's false. Since this statement is false, my response, my answer, it's no solution. And let's box this up. So no solution is telling me if I were to substitute a value in for t on this side of the equation and on the other side of the equation, I'll never be able to make both sides equivalent to one another. So let's take a look at an example. Let's pretend I want to try substituting 2 in for t. So let's see what happens. That would be 5 times 2 minus 5. And we're going to see if it's equal to 5 times 2 plus 7. Well, 5 times 2, that will give me 10 minus 5 on this side of the equation and 5 times 2 over here will give me 10 plus 7 on the other side of the equation. And I think you can probably start to see this now. 10 minus 5 is 5. 10 plus 7 is 17. These are not equal. 5 does not equal 17. There is no solution for this statement.